I know you're probably wondering, he's over here looking at the 4K steelbook of Halloween, the original one. And you know that other Halloween came out from Scream Factory. Like, did he double dip or did he actually have the nerve to pass? It's a good question. Let's find out. <laughs> What's going on? It's your boy you go to Blue back here for another video, another Blu-ray Tuesday. And the main question is, did I really skip on the Scream Factory uh, 4K releases of the Halloween movies, 1 through 5? It's a good question. But, 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 before we get into that, if you are a physical media collector, if you love 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, still books, digi books, digi packs, uh, media books, um, if you love kind of the alternative side of, of collecting with statutes and 1-6 scales, if you love all of physical media in its entirety, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button so you know when I'm dropping some more content. Uh, join me on this expedition of the appreciate appreciation of physical media, right? Uh, for me, it's more than just the movie. It's the artwork that is put into a lot of these packaging. Like, we know what the movie is. We've seen it before. It's we, when, we, when they get an upgrade, it's kind of, okay, let's see what the upgrade is about. But we know that part, right? But I personally appreciate everything that's put into these releases. Like I said, I'm a huge artwork fan, um, and I, I love when they do these releases. So if you're into that stuff, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm definitely going to bring in a lot more content uh, with the collection, with that discussion of uh, it being more than just about the movie. But without further ado, did I pass on these Scream Factor releases? Now, I'm going to tell you the story of how everything happened. So, um, for about a week or two, I've been really, really kind of thinking, like, should I buy them? I was on the fence. I was not. I was like, you know, I'm going to buy them. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. And partially, one of the hesitations is the artwork, it's okay, right? Um, they don't come with the digital copy, which is something that I love with these releases when they do. Um, it just kind of increases the overall value of it. It allows me to just watch it more easily from my TV. Um, and so they didn't have that. And then uh, also, it's the thought of, because of how you know physical media has been, are we going to get a subsequent release? of a box set, a 4K box set. Because if we do, that's something that I probably would prefer. I love the box sets. Uh, so all those factors came into play. But nonetheless, went to Best Buy, I pre-ordered another release that came out today, which I'll show you in a little bit. And uh, once I picked it up, I said, well, let me check and see um, if they have it in stores. I know when I checked the app, they said that Halloween 1 and 2 should be available in the stores. However, 3, 4, and 5, uh, I would have to get shipped to me. And I believe it was Halloween 4. Uh, I wouldn't get it until the end of October if I bought it. And then I think 3 and 5, I'll probably get it next week. But I said, nonetheless, sometimes I want to see it in hand. I want to see what it, just kind of analyze it. You know, pictures are good, uh, videos are good. But sometimes you want to feel it just to see, like, if it's going to change anything. Uh, so they did have 1 and 2. I picked it up. I looked at them. Knocked on the box. I was like, ah. And I bit the collector's bullet. Essentially, they came home. And I pre ordered three, four, and five. So I did, in fact, pick them up. And I took them out the plastic already. My Halloween one, actually, the uh, middle tray was loose, so my disc actually fell. But nonetheless, they were safe. So let's kind of get down into the nitty gritty of it. Nice sturdy box. Did hear there was some issues of people that got their copies early that this was peeling. Um, so if you do have any type of protective um, sleeves or something, I probably would put that in this to, to preserve this box. Um, and then we have the obviously the 4K release. One thing I do like about Scream Factory is they do allow you to get uh, reversible artwork, which I'm gonna show you. 4K Blu-ray. So, take this out, 
and I'm probably going to keep it with the reversible artwork in it, um, the original. I'm going to change it up a bit. Sometimes I like it when the uh, slip cover can be different. There goes with the disc. When the slip cover can be a little bit different than the actual, uh, sorry, the actual beginning case. I'm back. I know it's my 4K. Good job. All right. So that was the first Halloween. Hopefully it's not. Second one. Nice box. You started. Now, I haven't seen the Halloweens in a while, um, so I'm definitely excited about that so I can revisit these. Um, so in the comments below, let me know uh, if you pick these up and let me know what is your favorite Halloween um, thus far. So, I'm sorry, this is the original, same as the cover, the reverse artwork, which I'll put that as well. Yeah, let me know which, which one um, was your favorite. Like I said, I haven't seen Halloween in a while. Um, so... I'm definitely going to be revisiting all these. Uh, hopefully, it looks nice on the fourth day. Perfect. And the other release is super nice. And especially as a Steelbook fan, I love it. We got the American Cycle 4K exclusive Steelbook at Best Buy. This is what we want in Steelbooks these types of effects. And like I said, I love the protective cover that the Lottie Stippers will come in. I mean, this effect is just amazing. It's like it's pulling the skin off. I love it. I'll show you. So very good. Helps protect the still book. Then we have I love this simplistic artwork. Love that it's not a matte finish. All of these are positives in my book. Uh, I'll give you some interior plain here, but flip it upside down, yes. Definitely cool. Um, we have some disc artwork, obviously. Just keeps it simplistic. Switch it around. Like I said, always an added bonus when they put that. And I know they came out with, uh, Zavi had came out with an American Psycho release um, previously. So just gave you a look at both of them. Both had pretty good releases. Um, this came in kind of a similar thing that the uh, Halloween came in. Um, not as hard of a box, but, you know, all of them. Now it's funny, right? So, like I said, I love collecting still books. I love collecting them and keeping them in the exact kind of way that they came in, right? The plastic. So, a weird quirk about me is, like, when you take the stickers off of the plastic and you have this Best Buy, I actually keep this and I actually put it on um, the still book. I have protective sleeves that I put it on my still books. I actually put it on there. It's just something I love. I like completeness. But, that's all I picked up this week. Um, like I said, I think probably most people picked up kind of the same titles. There was a lot of other titles that were picked up. Um, I didn't get to those. Uh, maybe I'll look at a later date and, and see if I want to grab those. But I just wanted to get the main ones. Um, so like I said, let me know what you picked up. Uh, let me know what's your favorite Halloween, how you like the transfers, and what you think about the American Cycle Steelbook. Uh, like down and comment down below. Also, hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm definitely going to be bringing some more content, so let's join this, this wave, this expedition of physical media. Just craziness, you know? Um, and definitely, we've got to keep going with the, uh, the Halloween stuff. Um, I, I'm not doing a 31 Days of Halloween. I may sporadically look at uh, horror movies here and there. Um, but other than that, I will bring in some more content to you uh, definitely at the end of the week. I'm going to have my episode three of my Fade Five, where I recommend to you five movies from my collection. Definitely looking forward to that. And other than that, you guys, I hope everyone was able to pick up 
the movies that they wanted in the great condition that you want it to be. Uh, and until then, I will catch everyone later. Have a good